drop a rock into warm water and see how as the water cools, bubbles form on the rock. Oh, science. The air molecules have a lot more space to roam around in warm water, but as that warm water cools and the molecules come closer together, that air has to be forced out and has to go somewhere. Typically, it will adhere to surfaces within that water, and when applying this whole theory to mold making, it's going to adhere to your original part. This is what we want to avoid, and I'll show you how. Seal porous objects made of plaster or wood with several layers of polyurethane spray, shellac, or any other wood sealer, and let it dry sufficiently. Don't use too much mold release. Spray lightly and be sure to wipe away any excess that you see in your mold box or on your original object. After you spray your mold release, spray Bubble Buster. And this is a PVA water solution that will reduce the ability of the bubbles to adhere to your master. Be mindful not to boil the composite mold in the microwave or stir too many bubbles into it. Brush the composite mold into any undercuts or small negative spaces on your original to be sure you get a perfect coating of composite mold on the master. You may be introducing too many bubbles when you pour the composite mold into your container. The best way to avoid this is to just pour gently into the lowest area of the mold so the composite mold rises up over your part. Tap your mold on the counter to release some of the air bubbles. You can also lightly vibrate your mold box. Use a toothpick to pop or guide bubbles away from your original object and you too can have bubble-free molds and casts.